All right. Isn't this meant to be a busy day? No. I mean, between services, is uh, Sean about? No, no, he just missed him. He's gone to work. <sighs> Did he, he seem all right? Um, he was a bit off, actually, now you mention it. I've been neglecting him recently. Well, you've had other things on your mind, haven't you? How's your brother doing? Fine. No thanks to me. I knew the money I was giving him was going straight to his arm. Took the easy option. Well, look, there are no easy options when your brother's in trouble. <laughs> Everything's such a mess. I'm meant to be the one with all the answers. No. No, you're not. That's your boss's job. You're just another bloke trying to do his best. I've got stuff to do. Well, stuff can wait. I need a hand bottling up this last batch of ale and shifting the gear out of the conservatory before Sally gets back. Why me? Oh, I can't believe you're asking me that question after that stunt that you pulled. Think of it as community service and just be grateful I'm not sticking a dirty great big tag round your leg. Sure you don't want to decorate the pub for the Queen? No. Got no bontins, the last thing I feel like doing. I've got nothing to celebrate. You can't just blame me. We've all made mistakes here. Putting salt on your cornflakes is a mistake. What you did is in a different league. I don't know what you were thinking. Well, at least I was thinking. At least I felt guilty. I mean, tell me what exactly was going through your head while you were floating on a lilo in Spain. I knew it. You are going to split up. Amy, no, look, we're just... I know what you were doing. It's bad enough coming from one broken home. You're going to make it two. Amy. Steve, we're going to have to sort this out. No, I need to go and reassure my daughter because she comes first, now more than ever. Right. You've every right to be upset with me about the other day. That's big ear. Sorry, I bailed. Job, it, sometimes it's like being a doctor on call. And when one of your parishioners needs your healing hands, you just gotta go. I wouldn't put it quite like that, but... All right, how would you put it? What was so important? You know, I'm obliged to respect people's confidentiality. What about a bit of respect for me, eh? What's got into you? Look, let's not do this here. Why don't we go and... Grab some lunch after I finish midday service. We can talk properly. Oh, so you can stand me up again? No, you're all right, thanks. I've got no more to say to you. You dumped. What? I... <sighs> What's up? Nothing, I'm fine. Well, you don't look it. Every time I land myself a decent fella, the clock starts running. It's like a countdown to disappointment and heartbreak. Sorry, you're gonna need to give me another clue. Well, they get bored of me and look elsewhere. And I don't blame them, I get bored of me sometimes. Are you saying Billy's seen someone else behind your back? The vicar? I set the bar high, me. I mean, it was quite a challenge, but somehow I've managed to turn the local clergyman into a love rat. Billy would never cheat on you. I saw it with my own eyes. He ducked out of a date with me, said he had some parishioner to sort out, he was having a crisis, and then the next thing, I see him in Todd's arms. Todd? What, were they actually kissing? Well, it was more of a... cuddle or a hug. Well, which one was it? Cuddle, hug. What difference does it make? It makes all the difference, Sean, and you know it. He lied to me. Well, maybe, and he shouldn't have, but you know what? Sometimes there is smoke without fire. I mean, pff, I know that better than anyone. <sighs> well, I don't know what to think. Well, you're going to have to talk to Billy. Find out exactly what was going on. I can't. Why not? Because I've just dumped him. Oh. Well, you need to undump him and fast. Go on, we can manage for a couple of hours. Birds must be pretty angry, judging by the look on your face. I wish I had the time. I I'd just been at the job section last week's paper. Oh, well, don't bother. There's nothing there for people with our talents. Take anything in the penny. Anything to take my mind off things. <sighs> look, I understand you're feeling sorry for yourself, but you just got to clear your head and move on. And you will, because you're a fighter. Yeah. 
Me and Carla were made for each other. You just got to put her out of your mind. I'm not been looking for a job. I'm mean, looking at a number. Call, delete, call, delete, call. Delete. I still love her. You need to focus on the future, on the things you can change. You're right. What are you doing for lunch later? Time. Only half an hour, weren't we? Hello, Mummy. Hey, seemed longer sat here on my own. It might be an handful, but he certainly keeps you occupied. Stops you dwelling on stuff. You should have put the telly on. Oh, there's either God or politicians on on a Sunday, and I don't believe in either. No, it's not the day to be sitting in and watching the box. We should go out. I'm sure you'll be taking it easy before tomorrow. Save your energy. Sitting here and stewing on the earring ain't going to do me any good. A bit of fresh air and a laugh, that's what I need. All right, what do you fancy? No, we're special. Could go to the Red Wreck. What do you reckon, Buster? Do you fancy going to the playground? Hey, we could ask Jack, couldn't we? I know you miss your mum. And if there's any time we need to sit together, it's now, I reckon. I thought you were working. I am. At least one of us puts our relationship first before our jobs. I don't think we had a relationship anymore. That's up to you, isn't it? I told you I can't break the confidentiality of you. Oh, please, I saw you. You and him. Me and who? Well, if you're going to grope somebody, at least have a bit of class about you and remember their name. Todd. Todd Grimshaw. Might so big, dark hair, distinguishing mark on his left cheek. As for the rest of him, you'll have to fill me in. You're being ridiculous. You had your arms round him. It wasn't what you think. All right, well, what was it then, huh? Don't tell me he was your mystery parishioner because Todd's not been near a church in years. Trying to get him burnt by the holy water. Look, I, I can't explain. Just not now. I promise. As soon as I get back from church. <clears throat> it's all right. You don't have to make an appointment with me. It's a simple question with a one-word answer. Is there anything going on between you and Todd? Actually, no words will do just fine. It's written all over your face. Sean. No, it's fine. Go on. You get off. I'm sure your parishioners are wondering where you are. Well, one of them is, anyway. All Steve's bothered about is holding the moral high ground. Yeah, well, that'd be a novelty for him. Mm. He's making the most of it and all. But unless he comes down from there and talks to me, I just don't see how we can solve this. So what's next, then? I don't know, Maria. I really want to put things right, but... I've not been able to talk properly since Amy moved in. I mean, it's like he's hiding behind her. So you don't want her around anymore, is that what you're saying? No, I never meant that. Amy, I wasn't... You know full well that's not what I meant. Well, you didn't tell that to me or Amy. I mean, don't you think she's suffered enough? Yes, I do. And I happen to love having her here. Let me go and talk to her. Nah, leave it. You've caused enough trouble. Marion. Marion, hello. I, I'm sorry I don't come to church very often. I, I do pray mine. I've prayed a lot over the last few years. Well, you ever want to come and do it here? Our doors are usually open. Thank you. But I don't think prayers will help now. Oh? My son died recently. I'm so sorry. I say he died recently. That's not quite true. They only found his body recently. You... You might have read about it in the local paper. He was... Uh, he was murdered. Oh, um... What was his...? Callum. Callum Logan. Yeah, I... I did see yeah. that, yeah. The police have finally released his body. And I would very much like to bury him here. If you would be willing to conduct the service.
lost Callum when he was about 12. We used to be his world and then everything changed. Maybe it was him being at that awkward age or getting in with the wrong crowd, probably both. But we always hoped he'd come back to us. But he didn't. He broke his dad's heart. I'm so sorry. No. No, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make a show of myself. Oh, don't be silly. Anyway, there's nothing else for him to rage against. He's at peace now. I wish I could say the same. It'll take time. It'll take knowing. Finding out what happened. Put him down that wretched hole. I'm sure the police will unravel it all. I'm not. They think Callum got all the justice he deserves. But look, I, I've taken up enough of your time. Um, I will be in touch regarding the arrangements of the funeral. Thank you. Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah. In that case, mine's a pint. No? no? Billy called round earlier. He was looking for you. Stay long, did he? Uh, no, he didn't even come in. Well, I suppose adultery is even a bit too much for him on a Sunday. You are? I know. I saw the pair of you canoodling the other night. <laughs> That's a word you don't hear very often. <laughs> is that all you've got to say? Sean, whatever you think you saw, it... Wasn't like that. Yeah, he said that and all. You must think I was born yesterday. What were those crow's feet, mate? Are you totally shameless? My boyfriend ran out on me to be with you. No, Sean. He ran out on you to take his brother to hospital. What brother? We don't want things to carry on the way they've been. Yeah, well, I never wanted a lot of things, but I didn't get a lot of choice. I never wanted to make you feel awkward, and if I did, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologise. Yes, I do. That's what it takes. I want what's best for this family. So I'd like us to make a fresh start if you're up for it. Well, I still don't hold with what you did, but I'm not one to bear grudges, so I'm willing to give it a go. Me and all. This isn't doing anyone any good. Hey, finally. <sighs> Some common sense. Well, we're all off to the Red Rex, so we wondered if you two and Jack would like to come. Um, well... Oh, well, it looks like we haven't got a lot of choice, doesn't it? <laughs> Are we going the Red Wreck? <laughs> hey, me. What are you doing out here? I came to see Eccles. She loves me. Darling, what's wrong? You don't want me there. Who doesn't want you where? At the pub, Michelle said. What? They're constantly arguing. She said it was because her and Dad couldn't talk properly. That would mean the way. Right. Well, you could never, ever be in the way anywhere. Do you understand me? I was always in your way. That is not true. Yes, it is. When I was little, you always palmed me off onto Auntie Emily. Well, because you loved seeing her. And if you didn't send me there, you'd send me to my room. I didn't. Yes, you did. You sent us if you were on your own with Rob. You sent us if you were on your own with Robert. Sometimes you'd even send us if you were just on your own. Well, I don't remember that. I do. Spent most of my life in my bedroom. Yeah, because this is your home. You know, this is where you belong, not over there. Darling, come back. Come back to where you want today. Eh? You really want me to? Yes. Well, Toss, I still hate you for what you did. And whatever Michelle says doesn't change it. Amy! Amy, come back! What's this one, then? It's a summer ale. Tangy with citrus notes and a hint of pepper. Pepper? Yeah, a hint of pepper. I'd say that's a hint you should have dropped. Looks a lot fizzier than the last one. It's not fizzy. It's lively. Oh, well, it's not as lively as my mum's gonna be when she sees all this. She's coming back today, have you forgot? Yeah, not till later. We'll have it done by then. Well, good, cos she won't be happy. Well, she will be happy, cos she's been invited to some Councillor Jolly tomorrow. She left a message this morning. Downside is I've got to go with her. Well, what about work? Oh, no, this has got something to do with the Queen. She'll be there come hell or high water. Oh, 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 well, this was the last place I expected to come. 
I don't know, it used to be top notch at one point. Let's see if it's gone downhill. And if it hasn't, let's see if we can give it a little push. Greetings, my host. Uh, what's good today? The door. Oh, I won't be turning my back on you again. You've already used it as a knife block once already. Nick, I don't want any trouble. Okay? Yeah, look, I think this was a bad idea. No, 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 no. I've come to my local restaurant for Sunday lunch. What could be more sensible than that? Fine. Enjoy your meal. Table two. Keep an eye on him. Thanks for giving me a hearing. You don't really deserve one. No. Oh, I should have been straight with you from the off. Straight? We wouldn't have got very far if you'd have been that. There really is a, an innocent explanation for what you saw, you know. Oh, I know. Todd's told me. Todd told me everything. Really? I'm just disappointed you couldn't be honest with me. I tell you everything. It might not be what you want to hear. It might be boring, but I don't hold anything back. Why do you have to keep it a secret with Todd? Such a nightmare. Sarah's been through such an ordeal, it's hard to know what to do. Whoa, for... whoa, whoa, whoa. What's Sarah got to do with anything? Chef, that crate, if I was you, I wouldn't want it getting any weight. You can't seriously believe I wanted Amy gone. Oi! What have you been saying to my child? I haven't said anything to her. Michelle, you told her that you don't want her here. No, I didn't. Are you happy to stand behind this bar next to that callous mare? Right now, no one could accuse me of being happy. Yeah, well, so are here. But how about you keep your marital problems behind closed doors instead of affecting your daughter? Oh, that is rich coming from you. Amy's had a ringside seat for all your kickoffs. Do you know something? You are so lucky to have her, but you are too selfish to appreciate that. <laughs> We're selfish. Look, it's me she's angry with, so I will speak to her. Over my dead body. Which one? Sport for choice. Whoa, all right, take it easy. Oh, I'm this side of the bar now. I can feel my boots. Cheers, I'd get that down your neck. Might make the food taste better. I really think we should go. Whoa, 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 hold on. Our sharing plate hasn't come yet. I've told you to stop living in the past. No, you told me to change the things I can. Well, if I can't change my life for the better, I can make damn sure I change Robert's for the worse. Oh, 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 steady on there, mate. It's expensive stuff to go spilling. Not wholesale, it's not. It's a 13 quid markup on this bottle. There's an 18 quid markup on your bottle. He saw you coming. Let me get this straight. You and Todd weren't keeping one secret, but two. I'm sorry. And it is just the two. I mean, you've not got anything else tucked up your surplus, huh? You are a real vicar. Of course I am. Just checking. Look, I know I should have told you about Lee. Yeah, you should have. Only I had to find out from Todd that my own boyfriend had a brother. How do you think that makes me feel? Pretty rotten. I should imagine. Yeah. You'd imagine correctly. And what's the deal with Sarah Platt? Come on. If you're so full of regret, then maybe it's time for a full confession. Imagine me sat here in your get-up. It's more complicated than that. Oh, I see. Oh, it's complicated. All oh, right. So there's no point telling a bear of little brain like me, then? I never said that. Right, well, let's hear it. Why could you confide in Todd, but not me? Should have dug my heels in. I should never have let her come here. No, it was Amy's choice to make. Steve, she's a kid. She doesn't know what's best for her. Well, you know, maybe she got fed up of being trapped in this travelling circus you call her life. Maybe she wanted some stability. <laughs> stability? Living here above a pub with a bloke that's off his rocker and the latest barmaid is managed to drag into bed. She's gone. Hey? Amy's gone! What do you mean she's gone? She's not in a bedroom. I mean, it looks like she's packed her stuff and ran away. <laughs> Thank you.
Amy! 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 Amy, answer me! Wait. Leave me alone. What do you think you're doing? This is what you wanted, isn't it? Of course not. Now give me your bag. No. Are you getting on or not, love? No. Yes. You're not my mum. You can't tell me what to do. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can call your mum and dad now and they'll be here in 30 seconds. Or I can call the police and get the bus stopped. Either way, you're not going to get very far, are you? Drive on, mate. should have let me go. It's better for everyone. Well, I think you'll find that everyone disagrees with you. Now go and sit down while I call off the search. We can't let things end like this. I can. And I have. If you can't tell me the truth. I want to. How am I expected to believe that? Secrets and lies, that's all I've had from you. I'm sick of it. <laughs> You're not the only one, believe me. Oh, sometimes I think this job asks too much. Well, you're not going to get an argument from me. Look, I knew exactly what the deal was. I went into this with my eyes wide open. I was happy to play second fiddle to your career. I'd come to terms with that, but I will not play second fiddle to another man. It's not like that. Well, then you need to start telling me what it is like for my own sanity. Never mind us. If needs be, I'll ask Sarah. No, you can't. Well, then I suggest you start talking. OK. OK. But if I tell you, it has to stay between us. You promise me. OK, whatever. I'm listening. Give me a cotton of gear. A cotton of gear. I think you both had enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. He's not touched a drop. He's just been lying there with the rest of his mates, staring at me, thinking, how did I get here? And I've been staring at him, thinking they're exactly the same thing. Yeah, well, the longer steens come down on a lorry from Scotland. Yeah, 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 they do. They do, Andy. It's a great word, isn't it? Long steens. Must be French. Long, long, long. Do that with it. Do that with long steens. Look, sometimes grown-ups can say and do stupid things. Seems like I've done nothing else recently. But you must know how much I love you. Maybe. And your dad loves you too. More than anything else in the world. Even you? Definitely. Especially at the minute. Scarlet reckons her mum and dad aren't very happy either. No? Nah. They're always rowing. I've seen it myself when I went round to her house. She says they always stop together because of her. Is that what you're doing for me? Ah! Please! Just keep it down. Talk to my mates. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. We all think it's a great idea. And that if you get us another beer, we will button it. Please, please, can you do something about him? Your restaurant, your problem. Yeah, when you're much better equipped to deal with than I am. <laughs> Leanne, I want you back, please. I need you. I I'll give you a pay rise, whatever it takes. You know what it'll take? You do the right thing by Nick and let him buy a share back. Well, then there's nothing left for us to talk about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right in the eye. Take that. I don't understand. I followed the instructions, sort of. You've done something wrong. All right, I might have taken a few cheeky shortcuts. <laughs> you are so dead. Have you found selling up back hill tonight? That's what you think. What? She's just pulled up outside. Oh, no. Thank you very much. I'll be with you in five. 
think you're back. No, I'm still in London. Miss me, have you? Oh, I've been counting the days. You're looking unusually smart. Ah, thank you very much. It's a new outfit. I'm attending the patron's lunch at Weatherfield Council this afternoon in honour of Her Majesty's 90th birthday. Rather late for lunch? Well, it doesn't start till three. I only found out that I was attending yesterday evening. Turns out that the chair of Ways and Means has punched his lung playing squash. Oh, dear. Meant there was a couple of seats going begging at the top table, every cloud, as they say. Just get out there and stall them, will you? Can you just point off. You might as well just deal with it now. Pray, get out there and keep talking. It won't be oh. I'm not facing your music. Yes, you are. I'm your boss. This is a direct order. Get out. So, Rosie and I went shopping yesterday afternoon and I jumped on a train this morning and with any luck, Tim will be in his best bib and tucker and we shall be on our way. Oh, Mrs Metcalf. Craig? Hello, Mrs Metcalf. What are you doing here? Um, the conservatory. What's about my conservatory? No, no, not your conservatory. Well, he, he must mean mine. Coming on, isn't it? Yeah. You're building a conservatory. Well, it'll be more of an orangery. It's quite a bit larger than yours. What was that? Uh, not nothing. That has been going on for quite a while. It's like living next door to a firing range. No, uh, you mustn't go in there. What have you done? Oh, hi, Sal. Um, don't worry, it's worse than it looks. I mean, not as bad. Oh. Look at the state of my conservatory. Looks more of a pool house to me, though it smells like a saloon bar. Look, I'll get this lot shifted, I promise, OK? We haven't got time for that. Why haven't you got your suit on? Me suit? Yes. Would you at the patron's lunch in half an hour? I thought that was Monday. It's today. Didn't you get my message? Well, I, I listened to a message this morning said that we had a posh dude to go to tomorrow, yeah? Well, that's because I left it yesterday, you dozy. Have you not got a clean shirt ironed? Look, I'll, I'll go and iron you on. You go and get ready. No, we haven't got time now. I'll have to go on my own. Oh, I'm sorry, look. Sorry? This is the highlight of my political career. Everyone who's anyone is going to be there. I've spent a small fortune on this outfit. I really wanted us to make a splash. Oh, you will, love, you will. I'll get this lot tidied up whilst you're away, OK? Well, you better had. Do you know, I really, I just don't know... <laughs> So that's the big secret. Bethany's having a bit of bother at school. It's a lot more serious than that. Sarah needed guidance. So she reached out to me through Todd. Well, they are close, I suppose. Yeah, very. But the thing is, you know, we, we, we spoke in confidence, so it wasn't appropriate for me to tell you. I wasn't trying to exclude you. I understand. They're not your secrets. They belong to the people that come to you. <laughs> Exactly, exactly, which is why it's so important that you don't say anything to anyone. What do you think I am? Do you think I gossip about that? No, of course not. I'm, I'm just thinking of Sarah herself. You work together, she's a friend. It'd be easy to let something slip out of concern. I, I'd hate for her to think she couldn't trust me. Well, don't worry. My lips are sealed. Thank you. Still didn't explain your brother, though. I mean, why'd you have to lie about that? I could have helped you if you'd just let me in. That was a mistake. I regret it. I really do. Not half as much as I do. I mean, what's the point if we can't be honest with one another? I know. From now on, I will be. Well, you better I'd be. Because if we're to make a go of things, then there can be no more lies. Babe, there you are. I have been worried out of my mind. Me and all. Would you want to go and do that to us for, eh? Sorry. Well, there's no harm done, eh? She's fine. This is all down to you. You know that, don't you? I hope you're proud of yourself. Come on. Mr. Dinner. I wanted to tell people about Lee. I loved him. I just still do. I was just so ashamed. 
Shame they couldn't find the answers. Ashamed of him, deep down, and then ashamed of feeling that shame. That's a whole lot of shame. Mm, just a bit. Well, no one can blame you for doing the things you did, least of all me. No, I know, not you, but others. There's certain things expected of a vicar, a degree of respectability. And then there's me, the gay vicar with the junky brother. Well, anyone that thinks like that isn't worth a second thought. It was just the bigots, maybe. You know what it says in the Bible about moats and beams? How could people trust me to help them if I couldn't even help my own flesh and blood? Well, it gives you more insight. No. No, people want to believe in their, their God, in their church, his representatives. They need certainties, confidence, respect for their judgment. How could they respect such an abject failure? How could you? I hate the thought of you thinking less of me. I respect you more than any man alive. You shouldn't. I'm not worthy of it. Of course you are. No, I'm really not. You are a good man, Sean. You've meant the world to me. I'm not going anywhere. I understand why you did the things you did. No, no, I should have known that before. I should have been able to confide in you, but I didn't. All I've done is lie to you. And the blame for that is entirely mine. Well, we're being honest now. That's what matters. It's too late. It's way too late. You deserve so much better. Which is why... I think you're right. I think we should call it quits. No, no. No, I didn't know the whole story before. No, that's not what I want. Trust me. This is the best. I'm so sorry. Me. He used to love those monkey bars when I was a nipper. Oh, well, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, there was no one in my school could get across that adventure playground quicker than me. Well, I think those days are long gone, mate. <laughs> yeah? I'm still showing you three pair of heels, <laughs> mate. Oh, come on, Kev, seriously, I've got 20 years on you. And when I was in the army, we did proper assault courses. Will you just oh. give over the pair oh, of you? No, no, this is fighting short. There's 20 years or not. I'm still there. Uh, put my money on me any day of the week. All right, let's do it then. Two o'clock's the fastest time. And I will even give you a 10-second handicap so I don't show you up in front of mum. Listen, I don't need an handicap. I'm taking you down. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so what's the winner going to get, then? Uh, how about a double 99 with all the trimmings? So it's me, you'll be the one shelling out, so you can choose. All oh. right, well, come on, then. Who's up first? Well, I'm a little toss for it. Heads! Ooh, <laughs> a keen, 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 keen. <laughs> Tails, you go first. I ain't getting stopped watching. Come on, boys. Phone. Yeah, all right, well, we'll just take it easy because oh, I am not spending the night in casual tech. <laughs> I am so glad there's nobody you know around. Oh, I know, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> if the worst happens tomorrow, Gary's going to need help with Jake. I know I've got no right to ask. You don't have to ask. You know, whatever my feelings are about what happened, when family's in trouble, I don't turn me back. Thank you. And neither does your dad. You told him? No. He'd only get on a plane. And for what? There's no he can do. This is my fight. Are you coming or what? Oh, can I just sit here for a bit? No, you've got to be on the finishing line. Assuming he gets that far. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, just will you remind me again who the toddlers are? Um, <laughs> Right. Come in. Oh. There you go. Thanks. I put four spoons in that. It's probably going to keep you awake till next Wednesday, but at least it'll sober you up a bit. Did I make a fool of myself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty entertaining, though. Ah, at least I'm good for something. Maybe that's my future. 
an old rummy dancing for pennies in local saloons. Well, I think you've got a bit more to offer than that, personally. I don't know about that. Anyone who can be fooled so easily and so often can't hold out for much, you know? I never see it coming, do I, I mean? And that's what makes it worse. Well, I don't think any of us could have foreseen what Carla was going to do. Not even herself half the time. Exactly. Even Carla can pull the wool over my eyes. How can I be so naive, so gullible? <sighs> I can't go on like this, you know? Something's got to change. No, it's not. You are a terrific guy, just the way you are. You don't have to say that, you know? Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> it's what I believe. It's what I've always believed. <sighs> oh. <sighs> better. What do you think? I was so looking forward to that lunch. Well, there's some boiled ham in the fridge. I'm not talking about the food. I said you should have still gone. Yeah, well, I didn't have anything decent to wear, not after he wrecked my new outfit. Besides, I don't want to sit next to the lady mayoress reeking of ale. I never stop the mayor. <clears throat> well, if you must know, he's teetotal these days. Well, so he should be, after his appearance on the news, trying to get statistically right four times. Yeah, he made a proper laughing suck of himself. Yeah, and that's what you've done to me. Humiliated me in front of Yasmin. I mean, Yasmin, of all people, it'll be up and down this street by the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, just get your stuff and get out of my conservatory. He is sorry, you know. Oh, he's always sorry. He never thinks. He knew what I'd say. But he just got carried away. A bit like you in this council business. You can't compare me serving the community to home brewing. Mum, one means a lot to you, another means a lot to him. What's the difference? Look, Mum, you've been so busy with all this council stuff that you should be glad that he's got a hobby to keep him occupied. Oh, I am. I just don't want it in the house. Why, all right, then, if you don't want it in the house, then get him a shed. A shed? A doghouse would be more useful, cos that's where he'd be for the foreseeable. Besides, I don't want a shed cluttering up the garden. It'd make it look common. When I said shed, I meant more of, like, a... a summer house. A summer house? Yeah. Imagine. A few climbers up here look gorgeous. No one's got one of them round here. Not even next door. Oh. Huh? oh, smashing. Uh, are you going to give me a bit of that or what? Oh, I don't know. I don't think an ice cream's ever tasted sweeter. <laughs> Look, if my trainer hadn't come off. Oh, you know what they say about bad work. Why? Oh, well, it serves you right for gloating. Come on, then kids. I would have won. <laughs> yeah, right. I would have won. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I'm not so sure. He was like lightning across <laughs> the monkey bars. He's wondering if he ordered a banana split. <laughs> they seem happy enough, anyway. They are. So am I. It's exactly what I needed today. Thank you. No, nah, I don't be daft. I had a great time. And Jake did. Yeah. We should do it more often. Well, let's hope we get the chance, eh? I'm sure you won't plead guilty. Oh, Gary! Change your plea. You're more likely to get a suspended sentence that way. I got a life sentence the day I was born, and I've just found a way to make it more What if you're in prison? You'd be in more pain than ever because you'd be separated from Jake. I don't want to go inside. I feel sick at the thought of leaving Jake, but it's him I'm doing it for, so I can be a better mother in the long term. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 It was a mistake. Yeah, one that could have landed me inside. As if I'd have told Sean about Sarah. Are you sure you put him off the scent? Because I don't want him going round grilling her. He won't. And I told him it was about Bethany being bullied. <sighs> All right. I'm kind of impressed. I can tell your life for a living. It's not a lie to me. OK, well, we'll have to agree to differ, won't we? Are you all right? Billy? It's over between me and Sean. All right, well, 
I don't understand. Why would he dump you now? Are you sure he believed you about Bethany? Is that all you care about? If you must know, it was me that finished with him. Right, OK. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I know all this must have put a strain on your relationship. It wasn't that. You didn't help, mind. Piling more lies on top of the biggest one of all. Right, what's that? I've fallen for someone else. Uh... <laughs> Are you serious? I tried to resist it, but there it is. Are you mad? I mean, Sean's got his faults, but he's been a good mate to me over the years. I can count them on the fingers of one hand. I know, I know. It couldn't be more no. inappropriate or ridiculous, but... <sighs> for once, today, I had to be honest. Don't worry, I... I don't expect anything from you in return. Have you told Sean you feel this way? Then do me a favour and don't, all right? If that's what you want. No, I don't want it. I don't want any of it. We just get out. Just get out before Sean comes back, all right? This looks like hard going, what is it? Little women. My English teacher recommended it. No, no, is it good? It's all right. And are they, um... Are they what? Little women. No, they're girls. Ah! So they're not like all five foot and under then? You're daft, you. I know, it's been said before, babes. What's hydrogen? What's what? Aunt March drove off in hydrogen. Uh, oh, um, I think it means hacked off, a bit like you were today. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, come here. No, it's me and Michelle that have to be sorry. Well, things are going to get better from now on, I promise, OK? Um, Steve, can I talk to you for a sec, please? Yeah, all right. Listen, if you just want to argue, then... right to be upset. Mm. And you're gonna make sure I get the kicking I deserve. Well, I'm sorry, but I am not hanging around to be your punch bag, because then it really will be the end. What, and this isn't? I don't, I don't know what this is. I just... I just know I can't stay here. All right. So you're gonna go with him? Oh. No, I'm not. The fact you've even asked me that question shows me that I'm right. I'm banging my head against a brick wall with you. So where are you going to go, then? <sighs> Carl said I can stay at hers for a bit. Give us both time to decide what we want. Well, I know what I want, and it isn't this. I mean, poor Amy's going to be devastated. A bit of pain in the short term. It's better than limping on the way we have been, just for her sake. I don't want to be one of them couples who are in denial, just living out a sham. We're not going to be a couple, are we? We can be. I still love you. I still want to be with you, just the way we used to be, not... 
constantly ticking at each other. All right, all right, all right. Listen, message received and understood. I'll try hard. You don't have to do this, Michelle. I disagree. Oh, come on. Michelle. Michelle, come on. D And your Monday night double bill of Coronation Street starts at 7.30 and continues at 8.30. But next tonight, Vera investigates after a suspicious fire rips through a holiday park. And staff take on Mother Nature to keep our holidays on track in Heathrow, Britain's busiest airport, tomorrow night at 9.